Scott from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. Thanks so much for joining me for another video. Today I thought it would be fun to do book page pockets five different ways. We have a ton of book pages and sometimes it's just difficult to figure out what we want to do with them. So I thought we would go ahead and play a little bit with some book page and we'll make some pockets. So I have five different examples here and let's start with the first one, which is probably the most simple. Um, two different designs here. Hopefully yeah, I'm in camera. Okay, so um, yes, we just have the regular like corner, corner tuck. And then I actually, on this one, I used um, music paper. Uh, it doesn't matter, book page, music paper, whatever you want to use. And then I stepped it up a bit. So you have a pocket here and then a pocket here. So let's go ahead and try to recreate this. And I'm just using regular book page. So this one I used music, so it's going to be a bit bigger. Uh, let's see what we can do here. So we want a nice big triangle. So let's start off with maybe straightening out the edge of our book page. Right here, okay. There we go. So I've got that straightened out and now I think what I want to do is, this is pretty flimsy book page, so I think I will actually double it up and I can still create another little pocket. So let me get out the glue. Just use our Uhu glue for this. And you can definitely, um, after you've glued this up, you can definitely sew around the edges if you want and then decorate it as, as you like. And hopefully we can get to decorating, but we'll see. We'll see what time allows here. So I'm just going to use this glue book. I'm gonna put a fair amount of glue on because I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to going to sew yet. I'll figure that part out later. Okay, so we have this part. Okay, and then now I'm just going to, actually I think I'll use my little cutter for this. My little Fisker's guillotine. And we'll just line it up at the points and then chop it off. Move this out of the way. So we can have it this way, we can have it this way, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then we have this little piece to work with. So let's, this one we did this way, let's see if my brain can switch it. <laughs> so we'll go like this, and then this is definitely a little bit of a different piece, so let's line this up. I think I want to trim down. I want to just take this this blank edge off and then we can save this and stamp you know words on it if we like. And then let's remeasure this. This is gonna go on like hmm. Which way do I want it? Like this. Just play around with it, figure out how you like it. Again, it doesn't matter that these words are upside down because we will be decorating over top. So I'm just going to make a little mark where I want to cut it. And then we'll bring our trimmer back and trim this up. Hope you're all doing well. You have to let me know what you're up to today. Not much has been going on in my world. So there we go. Oh, I say not much has been going on in my world, but oh my goodness. Um, so, so sad about the passing of the queen. I am... Um, I would be remiss to say that I wasn't upset about it. Um, her birthday and my birthday are actually on the same day, so I always, you know, refer to her as my birthday buddy. And um, my goodness, I have a big glue goober stuck in my 
my thing here. Um, yeah, I, I was very sad to hear about that. It's definitely, you know, it was one of those constants in our inner world of one thing, you know, we knew the queen was there. Um, what's going on here? Oops, now I'm losing everything. Um, I, yeah, I kind of feel the same way, um, honestly, that I did with when Betty White passed. You just kind of always thought she'd be there, right? So, yeah, very sad. But, you know, and end of an era, and now we have ourselves a king. And that is interesting for me because, as some of you might know, I'm a legal assistant. So, everything that we had done was in the Court of Queen's bench and in the Queen's name. And now um, that has very drastically changed. The court site has already changed. Um, you, you know, the... The day that she passed, by the end of the day, they had already um, renamed the website Court of Kings Bench. And it'll be interesting to try to get used to saying KB instead of QB, because that's what we refer to the court usually. So yeah, lots of changes, very sad. And I was just talking about her the other day, I think, in one of my videos. I think I was mentioning in my, um, all the little golden books that I have. And um, that is one of them. I have a, a Queen Elizabeth II book, so I guess I should probably do maybe a memorial journal for her. Um, okay, so I did it the opposite way. Uh, the angles are a little bit different, but you can still, you know, tuck things in there. The only thing I might say before you glue it down, which I didn't do, is, you know, if you want to ink the edges, it's probably easier to ink the edges before you glue this piece down right but that's okay I can easily just re-glue that back and then this one there we go yeah and then I know they stopped production on the crown out of respect um not sure when they'll start that back up again, but, you know, I'm interested to see, you know, what happens with that. Um, I really enjoyed that, you know, enjoying that series on Netflix. So, yeah, we'll have to see what happens. Times are changing. I, I keep telling my kids, you know, this is quite a, quite a time to be alive for you guys. You know, you've lived through a pandemic. You, you know have lived through the passing of the queen, you know, write this stuff down, write down how you're feeling, what, you know, because someday it'll be in the history books and your kids are going to want to come to you and say, what was it like? Okay, so there we go. We have a nice cute little pocket there and there. And that is our first one. So just a simple triangle tuck and then add a, you know, an extra pocket. You could add a thumb hole if you like. Um, yeah, so that was super quick to do. And then all you have to do is, is decorate it. So we'll decorate those after. So there's pocket one. Pocket two is this guy. And let's see if I can remember how to do this guy. So I first want to even out my page just a bit. Oh, I don't have my, oh, there it is. Thought I lost my recycling bucket. Okay, so then I folded it in half. And I say I wanted to do that straight, but I didn't. So I think what I'll do is, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's perfectly straight at the end of the day, but just to appease my mind right now, I am going to trim a little bit off of this end. There, that's definitely much straighter now. It makes me happier. And then from here, we just simply, as you can see here, we just folded it back. So we'll fold back this. So I, I, on this one, I have it going like this. I've got it going the tall way and folding it back. It doesn't matter. You just pick an end that you want to fold back. I guess we could do it this way. So move that out of the way, and then I'll just fold this down. 
There we go. And again, we'll want to, well, I want to, you don't have to, but I like to ink up the edges. And just before we glue down, well, this one doesn't matter really. Ugh, I'm fumbly today. There we go. And then I'm actually going to ink up this edge. And something different that I'm going to do on this one that I didn't do on the other one is give me a minute. Let me just find my punch. Handy right here. Okay, so I want to. Take this side here, and I'm going to put a little thumb notch to create another extra little pocket. Okay, and I'll just give that a little bit of ink. Did I do that on the right side? Yep. Yeah. So, as you see here, this one I did not put. Oh, so this one, I actually have it going this way. Meh. I'm okay. You could do it this way. That's fine, too. And then you have the pocket. So there we go. I, I just made another alteration of this original pocket. So this pocket is supposed to go this way. And then there's a tuck on this side. Okay, so same thing. Started off the same. The only difference is now my tuck is right here. And I made a little thumb notch. Right? So there's many different ways you can go about it. So now we'll go ahead and glue this down. And so let's glue this pocket first. Adding a bit of glue here. So yeah, you're getting many different variations of these pockets because I apparently can't keep my head straight. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, so there we go. We'll add some glue here. And right along there. Okay. And then we'll just finish inking it up. And you could, you know, use some decorative scissors around the edge just to give it something different. Whatever you see fit. I uh, re-inked my pad and I dripped some on my a little dish here so I really need to clean that clean that off okay so there we go we've got our second pocket done all right I think we're doing fairly well let's move this back out of the way oops let's put that pin back in our glue so there we have this pocket can go this way, so we've got a little pocket here on the side, we've got a pocket here, and then you can make this a pocket back here as well. We'd have to put some washi or something there just to cover that little rip. And then our alteration of this one is going, turning it, and then having a little pocket here, pocket here, and again, you could put a notch here, put a pocket here. I may do that. You know what, let's go ahead and do that on this one. Why not? There we go. And quickly ink up that thumb hole. So there we go. We have another pocket done. So this is style number two in two different variations. Look at us go. Okay, put those to the side. Pocket number three. So this one is fairly simple. I inked up some of it, but not all of it. So just to give you an idea. Um, so we're going to start out with book page. And just to keep my mind straight here, I do want a straight edge. Line it up as best as I can. I'm not the best at getting things straight, but... I do try awfully hard. Okay. Now on this one, yeah, I have two book pages together. And I think 
This one we will make just a little bit, we'll do a smaller one. So I'm going to fold my book page in half, like this. Yeah, these came out of two different books, so this book page is, is a bit taller, longer than this one, but that's okay, we can still manage it. So I'm just going to put this aside, get out our glue book, and we will glue here. Yeah, it's been a quiet Sunday for me today. Just getting a few things tidied up for the for the week ahead and of course I wanted to get in here and get some things done as well. Okay, so we have our our base. So this is going to be a, our back tag part. So now we need to cut it into a tag shape. And do I have my favorite scissors? I could have used my little chopper too, but I think this will be just as easy. You could also use your ruler and rip it. That would work as well. We'll just do the old cut and flip technique. Come on, line up. Desperately need my nails cut. They're filed down. They're getting too long for me. I have this silly game that I play on my iPad. I find it extremely relaxing. It's my guilty little little pleasure, I guess. Do you guys have guilty little pleasures? Let me know down below what you yours is. What's your guilty pleasure? Mine is this game called Magic Tiles 3 on the iPad, and I find it so relaxing. It's almost like playing piano, like a player piano. I don't know if I've mentioned this before. I may have mentioned this before. If I have, I apologize. But yeah, I find it so relaxing, and I'm pretty good at it. So there's that. Okay, so now we have that. The next thing we want to do is these ones I've just ripped. So we're just going to rip corner pockets. So we'll take another book page. There we go. And let's see. We can just, do we want to use our tear ruler instead of a straight edge? Maybe. I have that right handy here. I actually put it away where it was supposed to go so I knew where it was. It's always an exciting time when that happens. Okay, so let me just think here. I actually want to use the straight one first. So I need it about this wide. There we go. And then we are going to, how high do we want it to come up? About there. So then we will rip here. This is just, I, you know, just playing around with paper, guys. That's all you got to do is just play. Where is my edge here? Okay. And then we simply line this up and then we will actually, do I want to go this way so that I'm ripping off some of this white edge here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're kind of going to go corner to corner. So hopefully you can see this. Go here. And here. All right. And we will ink up our edges just so people can see the the difference there until we get it decorated up. You know what my other guilty pleasure is? One thing I love to do, this is horrible, I love to eat warm lemon pie filling. Yep, it never makes it into the pie. I just love 
love, love warm pie filling. Lemon, lemon specifically. Just eat it like a pudding. Okay, so there's that one. So they're a little lower down than this, but that's okay. I think that's, you know, a steeper angle, but just fine. So now we're going to hold where we don't want the glue and glue it down. Now I'm using Art Glitter Glue because it has such a fine tip and we just want a little bead, right? A little bead of the glue, so there we go. And we will stick that there. Okay, so now we should be able to, could use this one. like that, it would just be different angles than this, right? Or if you want the same or similar angle, then you're gonna take this piece and rip it this way. So let's do that. Again, do we wanna flip it like this? Yeah, okay, so we're going to this way I had a moment there <laughs> my brain just shut off it was like mm, what are you doing okay try everything from this end it's harder when your pieces get smaller to rip okay let's move some of this out of the way my workspace is getting smaller I'm working at my desk today and I'm filming on my phone opposed to my ceiling mounted camera. So hopefully I'm still in frame. And the audio might be a bit different too because I'm not using my microphone that I usually use. That should be fine. Okay. And then there's that one. So let's get that glue down. Oh. You guys are you guys as fumbly as I am when you're crafting when you're creating I know I feel like crafting is such a old-fashioned word right like secretary to me when people call me a legal secretary I cringe a little not that I don't like being a secretary or but it just it's such an old-fashioned word so I prefer to be called a legal assistant because I do much more than just secretarial work because I actually draft documents you know it's not I'm not just like taking dictation and writing letters like I do I do legal drafting so to be called an assistant is just I don't know a little better for me okay so there we go we've got two more pockets or one more pocket but this is our third style again you can put a little hole in here uh eyelet um, if you have one of those fun hole punches that look like tags you could do that and then we've got a little tuck here a little tuck here and again you know just depending how you glue this to a page um, you could have a little side pocket or what have you so there we go we'll get these ones decorated up in a bit too so pocket number four which is probably one of my well these are we're working up to little harder ones here some of my more favorite ones. Um, so this is a like a waterfall pocket. And then I had these two pieces left over from when I made this pocket. So originally it was just like, just like this, right? And then, cause I had these two little extra pieces, I thought, oh, why not just stick those on there? And we've got two little extra tuck spots. I'm not sure if we're gonna do that on the one we make, we'll see. Again, you can do tag style corners up here alter it how you see fit. You can also do the little thumb holes. I recommend if you're doing, if you want your thumb holes to line up perfectly, um, is stack these together and then punch them at the same time. I also think it would look really cool too, is if you had like a hole here, a hole here, then back one over here, like just kind of stagger them. Um, I think that would look, look fine as well. So again, um, this could, when you put it on a page, you could have it as a pocket to tuck you know up this way you could have a little notch here too so they go all the ways in which case then you would want to stack all four of these together and punch them at the same time if you want them to all line up right 
So, okay, enough yammering on that. So let's get started. I think I'm going to use my bigger book pages. And just grab, oh, do I have any left? Yeah, I do. This made its way to the bottom of my book pile. Okay. Oh, look at this yummy piece of backing. Why have I not taken that off yet? Look at these beautiful backing pages right here. Okay, but we're not going to worry about that. Let's just, oh, here's right here. Let's use this. Put those over there. Okay. All right. So with this one, let's see how much bigger it is. So this is... This measures nine and a quarter by six. So definitely much bigger. So if I, yeah. So on this one, we want to, um, again, I need to, how do I want to, let's glue first and then I'll straighten out that edge. Sorry, I wasn't letting you guys in on what I was thinking about there. If you're not mind readers, I need to vocalize what I'm thinking here. Glue this. Again, remember, sew if you want. If you like that look. If not, don't worry about it. But if I was to sew this one, um, I would probably just, you know, sew around the edge like that. I don't know if I would... If you did any sewing of the pockets, obviously you'd have to, you know, put the sewing on before you glued the pockets on, but... Again, you can take this in any direction that you want. There's no limits. The only limit is your imagination. I have to say, I really, like as I've gotten older, have lost my imagination, which is really sad. Like I used to, you know, imagination is part of creativity. And I used to, you know, imagine different scenarios all the time. I'm starting to get that back. I'm starting to get my sense of, um, play and imagination back, but it's it's been a while. We forget how to play as we become adults. Why is that? Play is is the best. Okay, so bring our pocket back. So we have it doesn't matter which way this goes. So we have our pocket, and then we need to take another piece. And we're going to create create these and I think what I'll do is I I mean it doesn't matter which way the words go I can all go the same way it doesn't matter but I want to I'm gonna do the thumb notches on these so let's measure out where our pockets need to be cut so about here. Now, I think we'll just do straight edges. Like this one I did with the tear ruler. But I think I will just do this one with straight edges. I'll move this for a second. Okay, pencil line, there we go. I hate losing my pencil line, especially on pattern paper. I'm like, oh man, <laughs> now I gotta find that again. Okay. I always struggle a little bit with the guillotine cutter. Okay, so this one is going to go. I mean, at the end of the day, these don't have to have to be the full length as you stack them down. They can just be, you know partial because then you can just lay another piece over top of the bottom but I, I'm not lacking it just depends if how thick you want this right because this gets you you can see that it gets thicker as it goes along so if you want to keep it fairly um, fairly thin then you'll want to um, not have your pocket go all the way down to the bottom if that makes sense and that'll just keep it less bulky for your journal Okay, so back to this. So 
So we have our little pencil line I was showing. I meant to cut that off, but that's what erasers are for, right? I'll probably collage over this. Okay. So now we will cut it here. Put this back on before I lose it. My pet peeve is erasers that have gone hard, like old erasers. Ugh. Okay, so I'm going to go a little further to the right this time so that I can cut off that pencil line and I won't have to erase. Okay, so there we go. We have... Now, which way am I going? This way. Okay, so there's that one. That's a little high. Don't we think? Don't we think? I think that's a little high. Maybe I have to cut this off. And then again, that's another good, good piece to stamp words on. So maybe we'll do this pocket at four inches. Okay. So there's that one. Yeah, I like that. Maybe this one we'll just do... We'll just do two pockets on this one. Why not? Still a waterfall. Still a waterfall pocket. Okay, let's cut this. Just want... So this is three and a half, so I've gone down half an inch. Okay. Is that going to be enough? No, I want to go a full inch down. Okay. There we go. Do I like that better? Yes. Yeah, I think I'll go an inch down on each, and then I need to... Oh, can you hear my stomach? Sorry if you can. It's growling. right here. Okay. And trim that. So I think we can still get one more pocket on here. Yep, I'm going to do it. Is this page going to be wide enough? It's from a different book, but that's okay. So this one was three, so then this one will need to be two. Actually, you know what? I do think I want to use the same book page just because the coloring and the thickness of the paper is a bit different. This one is just a bit thicker. Okay, so let's do two. Turn this off. I don't know if I'm on camera for you guys there. Oh, a little bit, a wee bit, okay. Sorry if I go off camera, like I said, I'm at my desk, which is a little bit different setup, so I can't see unless I stand up. And on my other one, I can see on my computer, so. Okay, so now we're gonna do two inches. And this here. Like so, and cut there. Okay. Now that we have all these cut, I'm going to stack them up together at the top. Like this. Again, before we glue anything down, and then I think I want my other Again, you know, you don't have to use a round punch, guys. I have this one, too. You know, you could do a square. Why don't we do that? Let's be different. Let's go our own way, do our own style. 
that would be good. Just trying to remember, I'm trying to look at this smallest one here, making sure I'm not, you know, going too far down. And this is where I get the shakes as I try to... Uh, am I straight? Am I center-ish? Okay, here we go. See, that's kind of cool. It's different. You know, I might not do it every time, but, you know, it's something different. So then let's quickly, let's see how, okay, 35 minutes, that's not bad. Got to kind of pick up the pace though so we can get through all of this. So again, I just want to, I'm just going to quickly ink the tops of these before we glue them down. Now these are just single single pages where this one was doubled over so it's a little thicker. You may want to actually, if you want your, your pockets to be a little bit stronger, to double them over again like we did on the first one. Okay, and then we'll quickly do this one. Yeah, it's just something different. You know, and then we could even we could even come in with this and then give another little so it's stepped down and then a circle. So you know, just a little diff different decorative thumb notch, right? Get creative. Okay, and then our last one. Just trying to make sure there's no bad words here. I don't think there is. This one's, I think, about a, a nun, so I can't imagine that there's going to be too many bad words on this book, but who knows. I actually went to, um, I don't know if I told you guys this, we went to the uh, girlfriend of mine, Kim and I, we went to see, oh, I did that wrong. Did I? No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, we went to see the Elvis movie. It's by Baz Luhrmann and... Again, his style is, is really different. If you've seen Moulin Rouge, you'll know what I mean. But um, this sweet little nun was at the at the movie theater watching the Elvis movie. She was in her habit and everything, and she was talking to us, telling us um, she remembered, you know, the days of Elvis. And I thought that was kind of funny. Don't really think, you know, we don't really think about monasteries or convents still being around, but they are. Okay. Did I remember to glue the bottom? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> Had a moment there. That's what happens when I talk. I forget what I'm doing. I kind of like that. That's, you know, it's different. It's cool. It's, it's fun. My favorite word, fun. Okay. There we go. You guys, I've been having such vivid dreams of things that I want to do in my journals. Oh, there goes my stomach again. Sorry. Um, yeah, just really vivid dreams of things that I want to do in my journals and that has been like waking me up in the middle of the night and then keeping me from being able to go back to sleep right away. But I am trying so hard not to get up in the middle of the night to craft because that is an incredibly bad habit. Um, I can't get into that, that routine. It'll mess up my work days. And as much as I love my job, I love, love my job, you guys. I love where I work, the people I work with, what I do. It just sometimes gets in the way of my crafting. <laughs> not my crafting, my art. Again, I'm not, I'm going to try and not use the word crafting because it's old fashioned. Gets in the way of my creativity, my art time, my... Okay, so there we go. There is that. And... Where is our prototype? Lost it here. There we go. 
So I'm not going to put the little corners on, on this one just because of the way that we have our, I mean, you could, uh, but I'm just not going to this time, but you can obviously see that you can add that. So yeah, a fun, different take on the waterfall pocket, just using, uh, you know, a different hole punch to create the thumb notches. And yeah, there we go. So that was pocket four. On to our last pocket, you guys. This is exciting. This one I like as well. And this one I didn't double fold. So I would probably, um, the one that we're going to do, I'm going to make sure it has two layers because this is pretty, pretty flimsy. But here we go. So we have the big book page. I cut off the white edges and then I made two pockets that go this way on it. And again, this tuck, you can also have it, you know, on this side, but I liked it this way. And yeah, let's go ahead and make this one. So I've got my legs crossed and my leg is falling asleep. It's all tingly. Okay, I think I can get rid of those little pieces. Try and keep somewhat clean here as you know that's my goal for this year is to try and keep my room organized and clean it doesn't always happen but i try i mean well all right let's go ahead and so for this one i cut off the edges so let's go ahead and do that now We'll have a few little pieces left that we can stamp on. Do you guys save these pieces to do your words on? Just curious. Just curious if you do. And do you have a favorite word stamp? Our dear friend Gail likes the word kind, which I'm partial to as well. These are great. Um, I like, what's another word I like besides kind? I like cherish. And what else do I like? Um, I don't know, I have to go through my, I haven't used my Tim Holtz words in a while actually. I should probably pull those out. Okay. together. Oh, Sister Regina. Oh, it just makes me think of the queen again. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to take me a while. Take me a while for sure to get over that. You know, she was as constant in my life as parents. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't know. Okay. I just think of that awesome little skit she did with Paddington Bear for her Diamond Jubilee. It was so funny. She had quite the sense of humor too, you know. Everyone thought she was, you know, hoity-toity stuck up, but <laughs> that girl had a sense of humor and she loved playing games. That's what they would do Christmas Eve. I believe the royal family would get together in the in the parlor or wherever and they would play games, board games and stuff. She was quite competitive from what I from what I've heard. Okay. So again I'm gonna cut off just these margins. And let's see here. Good stampin' piece. And this side. Oh, I should probably be very careful here and make sure that I am cutting in the proper spot, right? There we go. Just trying to give me a little gauge to go off of here. Another good piece for stamping. 
And then now we want to work on our pockets here. So these, yeah, are about the same size. Oops. So we can do this. Um, you know what we could do? Let's do something a little different on this one. So I'm going to show you uh, another little different take. So same thing, you've got your base. Let's trim. Yeah, this is a bit too tall. So I'm going to come down. I think about, I want the pocket to be, I think this is bigger than five inches. Yeah. I think I want this one to be, I don't know, I don't know, length, okay, what is this right now? This is measuring at about seven and three quarters right now, so let's take two inches off. That could be used as a tag or even a belly band. So, yes, okay, this is the base. I've cut it significantly smaller than this one, but that is okay. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to have two pockets. Is this going to work? Sorry, guys. Now I've cut it too short, I think. That's okay. Let's go ahead and strengthen this up. Sorry, I'll show you guys. I really am getting to what I want to show you. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down just to give it some more, some more strength. I feel like I'm getting to the end of my glue stick here. I have to pull another one out. Okay, we'll fold that in half. And this is going to go this way, and I'm going to cut this in half. So this is measuring about almost four and three quarters. So I will just fold this in half to find out where I need to cut, because Math and I aren't friends. So this is what I'm thinking on this one. This one we have these two pockets. So we've got, this is going to be a pocket up here, pocket in here, pocket in here. This one, we'll do a pocket here. So let's do our thumb hole. I'm going to use the smaller one. And I feel like that is somewhat center, or at least it's center enough for me. Then this one, one pocket just a little bit bigger, but let's do them like this. Okay, and then how do I want this? I am going to actually, didn't do a very good job here, but I can, you know, I can reinforce that with my art glitter glue, but I'm going to have the folded edge be the um, thumb notch side, if that makes any sense. I'm going to put them together and I'm going to cut them together. I feel like I'm not being very articulate today and I apologize about that. Do you ever have one of those days where words just kind of don't flow freely for you? So I'm going to ink these up right away, and I definitely want to do the edges as well before I glue them down. And then we can have some tiny tags go in here. I mean, we could do it like that, you could do and do it like this, so that you have one go this way, one go this way. We could have it so that they both go the same way. I actually kind of like it like this, so I'm going to be wild and crazy. 
and do it that way. The only thing I do need to think about though, is if I do put this on the page, do I have a journal around me? Um, I'm concerned. This kind of, oh, this poor mermaid journal, you guys, has been so neglected. So if I do put this on a page, now this is going to take most of the page. Will I have room? Yeah, I should have room to pull the tag out. That should be fine. Just wanted to double check that. I need to get back to this. Ugh. I just have a block on it for some reason. I don't know why, because it is like an absolute gorgeous digital. Again, from Leanna Scrap. I'm, as you know, I'm in love with her right now. Oh, I did ink it. I don't need to ink that side. Silly, silly. Okay, let's get these glued on. Where are we at for time? Yeah, we're almost there. So thank goodness this is our last pocket. You know, we'll have to just decorate this on the next video, guys. Which is okay, because then I can do some um, ephemera making for the mermaid journal for, you know, all of the journals that were that we're going to be making. Is that there? Is that too close? No, that's good. Ouch, I still have that little piece of something in my hand. Okay, turn this over. Yeah, I think after this video, I'm gonna have to go grab a little piece of toast or something. I have, I don't very rarely get like hungry, hungry where my stomach growls like this, but apparently it wants something to eat. Oh, I know why. Because I didn't have supper last night. I wasn't really hungry. Do you ever get that way where you're just not? Find that a bit. Oh, calm down, stomach. Yeah, I just wasn't very hungry last night, so I didn't have anything to eat. I know that's bad. Especially if the weather's warm. I don't know, I don't, uh, I don't usually get very hungry when it's hot out. I'm like, meh, I'd rather just, you know, have something to drink. And Okay, and then we gotta ink up the bottom. Yeah, so we didn't get to any decorating today, but that's okay. You guys got to see five book page pockets. Actually, if you think about it, you know, it's 10 because I really, you know, showed you different ways to do these on each one. So let's take a look. We've got these two fun pockets. Then we have our waterfall pockets. Let me just move these out of the way now. So we've got those. So that's two. And then we've got these waterfall pockets with a fun little different thumb notch. So that's four pockets. Then we have this one we didn't alter. So we've got these two. We just changed the direction of the, the little side tucks. So there we go. Then we have these pockets. We'll tuck there, there, here, here, and in the back too. Again, I'll have to reinforce that with some washi or something. And then our original little triangle side tuck pockets. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, more than five different ways to use uh, book pages for pockets. But there you go. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. And P.S. I love you.